Oh, yeah. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a slime it. monster from hell. Really? We're just going to let that in? Yeah, we're going to have to. I'm Barry. I'm Anne Chef. This is the continuing journey of Sailing ABC. Good morning. It's uh, 7 o'clock on a Wednesday morning. And technically this is our final night in cash. There's a very big wind coming in uh, this afternoon. I'm not comfortable with that because the holding here uh, in normal conditions is, is really quite good. but. Um, once the, the big wind comes up and it starts whipping around these hills it's not a fun ride in here we've been there before so we're moving down to the security and protection of Kekova it's three and a half hours away to the uh, southeast then tomorrow the really big wind comes in forward to this yeah we took the dinghy around from our anchorage and we've come to the um, the place where you get the goat's milk uh, ice cream and it's a bit of a hike up the hill to be sure to be sure but this is the place here Hello. Welcome. thank you we have famous ice cream. the famous ice cream okay homemade I make every day. cafe mola yeah come on okay. Mind the cat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to have uh, pomegranate yeah. and black mulberry. Okay. What are you having? I'm having. Pomegranate yeah. and lemon. Ooh. And Yum. Yes. And it's all goat's milk. And it's Ooh. all goat's milk. Yum. Yeah. Okay, let's go water. Okay, Baz, what's that taste like? This is heaven on a stick, except it's not actually on a stick. It's in a tub. Um, if you're watching the segment, this is our new crew member. This is a Canon Ixus 115 HS. And it's, it's an been one, resurrected. It? That's my old um, scuba diving camera. Uh, so it's ooh, many years old. Uh, so we'll see how this, this little camera works out. And if it cuts the mustard, it can join the crew. Yay, and it'll be my little baby. That's always a good sound. I can hear the water coming out of the exhaust as well. Let yourself go there, Captain. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of like a new look I'm going for. <laughs> I've just been a lazy bastard. <laughs> but I will have a shave before we are joined by our mates Michelle and Jenna. And Michelle's son. Oh, Michelle's son's yeah, coming yeah. as well, yeah. Yeah, looking forward to meeting him. Yeah, we haven't met him. We are still in Kekova. We came here obviously to hide away from the winds. The winds came, we didn't move, and we sort of like got into work patterns, and uh, we've been here since. And uh, now we're going to move from this well-protected little spot down to another fairly well-protected spot called Smugglers. I think the Turkish name's Gokaya, is Gokaya, it? Gokaya, something like that. Rings a bell, yep. Beautiful crystal clear water down there. Uh, normally, it's been a bit windy, so maybe not. Uh, we'll find out when we get there. And we're doing something different today. We're towing the dinghy. Yes. This will be the second time ever that we've towed the dinghy. And the only reason we're doing it is because we are staying inside uh, the outer part of the Kekova area and uh, we'll be well protected and I think there's yeah. about four knots of wind right yeah. now. Yeah, because we do prefer to lift it up on the davits normally because there's always that chance if it does get uh, choppy that it'll flip. Um, not today Josephine. No, definitely no. not, no. All right. All right. Let's bring well, up the anchor okay. and see how much mud is on it. Yes. Right. <laughs> Put the anchor bib on. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's definitely going to need a good clean. Holy crap! Hang on, let me come and film some of this. Right, here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, the slime nice. monster from hell. Oh, oh it's coming up ten. a bit cleaner now. <laughs> ten. <laughs> well, the, uh, the anchor bit works. Nothing. Put nothing on it. Reminds me when I was a little girl, like really little, um, one of the games that I used to be allowed to play when I was outside in the back garden was to make mud pies so that I had little cupcake things and they just, mum and, mum and dad gave me a whole bucket of mixed up mud from just from the garden <laughs> I used to make mud pies. That mud would make fabulous mud pies. <laughs> I love this place, it's so pretty. Just to give you an idea of the scale of the size of Kekova Hills, there's a tourist boat there. It's a two-story one. The camera may not be able to pick this up, but one of the things I love about this area is that it, it's in layers. The hills are in layers, so you've got this front layer here, and then there's a little bay behind, and there's another layer of hills, and then there's another layer, and another one, and then the hills in the distance. It's just beautiful. I don't know why I like that so much, but I do. So, um, I'm just gonna... That's what we're looking at there. I hope he doesn't snaffle our position. <laughs> Balls up. Yep. Anchor locker is uh, clean. clean. So is the chain oh and the rope. I think it took us an hour and five minutes to get here, and it took us nearly an hour and ten minutes to clean the <laughs> anchor locker of all the mud that we picked up anchored at the other place. If you want to 
make sure that you're stuck in for a big blow, that's the place to go. Absolutely. It's, yeah. Once your anchor's in there and you've got enough chain out, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> So well, here we are. We're at. Um, could have made a face pack, couldn't we? Maybe I could have got rid of my beard with it. <laughs> We're waiting here now for uh, the arrival of Michelle and Janan sometime tomorrow from Cash. Um, this is a top little spot to come mm. to. And um, it's their holiday, so we'll take it from yeah. there and see, see what, what they, they want to do. do. Yeah. yeah. Right. Cup of tea and then editing. Go, go do some work, yeah. yeah. Pirates have arrived. <laughs> yes. Nice ultra anchor on a chart about. That's a good thing to see. Um, oh yes, it's Tuesday because I'm behind with the editing. Oh yes, and that's why we're running the engine and shifting position today uh, early because um, once Anisha gets into the editing flow, I don't want to sort of like stop her halfway through so we can move position. So Michelle, Janan, and Louis are parked right next to us and uh, they're just getting their dinghy out. They're going to stay here for a little while to explore the cave and uh, the actual smugglers bit of the bay. Uh, we'll come and back here and do that before we go to Finike. Uh, so we'll meet them up at the uh, anchorage at uh, the It's actually quite busy in here at the moment. There's quite a few people who've stayed overnight. But it was lovely and quiet though, wasn't it? Oh yeah, still very quiet and peaceful. Yeah. 